Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I had several people send me this story, including Tom and Brian from the Associated Press. Out of Louisiana, diplomas for sale, $465, no classes required. So apparently in the state of Louisiana, without attending any classes, if you cough up $465, you can get yourself a high school diploma. And some people would suggest that that's not right to pass that off as a diploma as if you went and graduated from high school. But Sharon Lurie wrote this and uh, tells a story about a woman here who accepted her high school diploma with relief and gratitude, thinking it was a ticket to better paying work she felt after getting kicked out of high school and toiling for eight years at factory jobs to support her family. This is a new path for me to get on with my life, she said. But she didn't take any classes or pass any tests to receive the degree. She got it simply by paying $465. Now, unlike public schools, formal homeschooling programs or traditional private schools, nearly 9,000 private schools in Louisiana don't need state approval to grant degrees. Nearly every one of those unapproved schools was created to serve a homeschooling family, but some have buildings, classrooms, teachers, and students. While unapproved schools account for a small percentage of state students, those in Louisiana's off-the-grid school system are a rapidly growing example of the nation's continuing fallout from COVID. So U.S. public school enrollment fell by more than 1.2 million students in the first two years of COVID. Many switched to private school or told their state they were homeschooling. Thousands of others could not be accounted for at all. So students in Louisiana's off-the-grid school system aren't missing, but there's no way to tell what kind of education they're getting or whether they're getting one at all. Over 21,000 students are enrolled in the state's unapproved schools, nearly double the number from before the pandemic. According to data obtained through a public records request by the AP and The Advocate, a partner news outlet in Louisiana. To supporters of the system, avoiding state oversight is entirely the point. Advocates say Louisiana's unapproved schools are a natural extension of the doctrine of parental rights. Uh, So the place where this woman got her diploma... Uh, bills itself as an umbrella school for Christian homeschoolers. Most students there do attend the school to work toward an education through actual classes and tutoring and and tests. However, the principal is also willing to grant a diploma to anyone whose parents will say they were homeschooled, even if it means they were homeschooled a long time ago. Sometimes it takes two or three times to explain to them that they are free, she said. Their parents are in charge of them, not the state. So she says she's not selling diplomas, but rather lifetime services for homeschooling families. She said, we're not here to make money. Yet, if you want to, you can read the price list taped to the front window of the school building. $250 for a diploma, $50 application fee, $35 for the diploma cover, and $130 if you want to wear the cap and gown at a ceremony. The number of students in unapproved private schools like this one has nearly doubled from around 11,000 in the 2017-2018 school year to over 21,000 in 22-23. There's precious little information available about these schools, which the state calls non-public schools not seeking state approval. To start one, an adult must only report the school's name and address, their contact information, and how many students they have. Some schools have whimsical names such as the Ballerina Jedi Academy and the Unicorn Princess School. Others proclaim their independence with names like Freedom First. Most of the schools are tiny, single-family home schools. However, last year, 30 of Louisiana's unapproved schools reported they had at least 50 children enrolled. The problem is there's no way for the government to verify safety, quality, or even whether the school exists, says the former Department of Education official, who worked on the school choice efforts up to 2020. The department warns parents on its website that it cannot confirm whether these organizations even meet the legal definitions of a school. We didn't want to give parents or anyone else a false sense that we knew anything about these schools should they exist or that we could attest their safety, that we could attest their actual education or anything. Now, Louisiana has options for homeschooling. Parents who want their child to receive a state-recognized high school diploma can apply for the official home study program. They must submit documentation such as test scores or copies of the student's work to show their child has received 180 days of schooling at the same quality as a public school's. Alternatively, families can set up their own private school without asking for state approval. 
There are no requirements to prove a child is getting an education. In fact, these schools don't even have to submit the names of the students who are attending. At least two unapproved institutions have had abuse scandals, but the State Department of Education says it has no authority to do anything because these aren't schools under their authority. By law, the DOE does not have oversight over these schools, says the Louisiana Department of Education spokesperson Ted Beasley. One of the most infamous was a school that popped up in a 2018 New York Times investigation which found that the school abused kids and made up transcripts to get students into Ivy League schools. It was still open as of last school year, according to state records. Another unapproved school in Baton Rouge has come under scrutiny since its head teacher was arrested on charges of abusing students as well. The story is eight pages long. I'm not going to get heavily into it beyond that because I don't think I need to. But the real gist of it is, that apparently in Louisiana, and this might be true in other states, I don't know, uh, you can approach this school and say, I want the whole shooting match. I, I, want, I, want, <laughs> I want the wash and the wax for 465 bucks, and they'll give you a diploma saying that you are a high school graduate, here's your high school diploma, and they'll cap and gown the whole, the whole, whole thing, the whole thing. Or for a little less, you can just get the diploma. And then you can apparently tell people, Yes, I've got a high school diploma from a school in the state of Louisiana. And I know there'll be people out there who say, Steve, you understand this does serve a legitimate function for the people who homeschool and want their kid to have a diploma to reflect the fact that they got a homeschooling education. I have no problem with that at all. I have zero problem with that at all. My whole point here is this. If you've watched more than three of my videos, you know that I'm a big advocate of education. The vast majority of shirts I wear on this show are from schools. I'm trying to remember what shirt I'm wearing right now without looking down, and I think I remember which one it is. And I'm right. It's a school shirt. Lake Superior State. It's a college in Michigan. Sault Ste. Marie. The smallest public school in Michigan, I believe. Uh, smallest public university. Uh, very good school. And I'm a big supporter of education. I've mentioned before that my parents were teachers. My grandparents were teachers. All kinds of teachers in my family I taught. I was a professor at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Law and at the main campus where I taught history. And I've always been a big supporter and believer in education. And so I've always said that education is extremely important and we should do everything we can to promote it and support it and encourage people to get educations. I I think that education is good, okay? If if I had to just summarize it, (laughs) school is good, okay? And now here's the thing. There are people out there who say, but Steve, I don't like what the public schools are doing, so I want to homeschool my own kids. Do that. Absolutely do that. I've got no problem with that at all as a principle, just a general thought process. i got no problem with that. But, but I do have a problem with the idea that, that you can, with no qualifications other than the fact that you got $465, can go and get a diploma from a school that says, oh, you're, you're going to just tell us that you, you qualify for this? Sure, you're going to have this. Because at that point, the diploma doesn't prove anything other than that you had $465 at one point in time to spend on a diploma. And a high school diploma actually should stand for something because there are people out there who worked to get it. And for many, many generations in our country, a high school diploma meant something So you applied for a job, and they go, do you have a high school diploma? You say, yes. They accept the fact that you have done some level of education and that they should be able to expect you, for instance, to do basic math, uh, probably construct complete sentences, and understand some of the most rudimentary things out there involving science or how the government works or something. And I'm, I'm not saying that you should become a constitutional scholar and be able to prove that because you have a high school diploma. I'm just saying if somebody walks in the door of a shop and they're applying for a job and they go, I've got a high school diploma, that does mean something. Apparently, unless it's from Louisiana. And so I have a problem with it. Now, again, there's going to be people who are missing the fact that I've already said twice, I have no problem with people homeschooling. And if you homeschool and you do all the things that are the equivalent of an education homeschooling and then you get one of these diplomas, I've got no problem with that. 
I simply have the problem with the fact that you can walk in someplace and cut them a check and they will hand you a diploma. Because then the diploma literally doesn't mean anything other than the fact that you're willing to pay that money. And that's actually going to hurt all of the people in Louisiana who have high school diplomas that they earned the traditional way, whether at school or homeschooling. I've now said that four times. I'm still going to have people saying, Steve, you hate homeschoolers. I don't. I don't. Okay? Now, you can disagree with that, but, and I wouldn't be surprised if other states do this too, but the big story here is the fact that it's happening in Louisiana. So it is, in my mind, a problem. But again, I'm not ripping at homeschooling because I'm, I'm, I have nothing against it. I've met kids who are homeschooled. I've met parents who homeschooled their kids. And I've also seen kids who went to school and got a high school diploma. And compared to each other, I've seen where the homeschooled kids had a better education. I've seen that. Absolutely. And I know some people to say, Steve, high school diplomas don't mean anything. They're not that hard to get. If that's the argument you want to make here, I guess you can make the argument. But my point is that somebody got a high school diploma in their traditional way at a school, a public school. I'm talking about the old school way of doing it, literally. Okay, you, you showed up. You completed 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. You passed all four grades with enough credits. You got your diploma, okay? That diploma actually does indicate that you put in a certain amount of work and hit certain standards and baselines and got your diploma. That means a little bit more than somebody who says, I paid 465 bucks and they handed me a diploma. So I have a high school diploma. That you have to admit that that's different. That's different. That's all I'm saying here. <laughs> so, Tom and Brian, thanks for sending it. Diplomas for sale, 465 bucks and no classes required. Uh, and this is happening in Louisiana, where they've got unapproved schools who apparently can issue diplomas. And uh, the Department of Education there says there's not much they can do about it because that's the way the laws are written. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Yesterday, I watched as my neighbor dropped a basket of clothes. She had just ironed all of them, and I watched the whole thing unfold.